In this video, we are going to draw a DIY panda purse. Hi there, my curious creative people. How are you today? Well, as you know, I pass my time here by browsing Taobao, which I should stop. But by now, Taobao knows how to recommend me things. So I'm very curious about the new products they have. And it actually recommend me this DIY. Uh, bags and purses and I like the idea to build it myself so today we are going to try one of them and I actually decided to try this small one I'm not really a purse person and actually when I think about it this is like a coin purse which we don't use cash very often in China anymore everything we pay through our phones so I don't know I just think it's cute so I wanted to make it and maybe I just give it to somebody else as a present so I bought the kit and it came in this box uh, let's see what is inside <laughs> it's falling um, okay so it comes with this letter in Chinese of course uh, I don't know what's this Oh, cute! I have no idea what is this, but it's kind of cute. So, okay. Maybe I can use this as a background sometimes for other things. Next one is a like a certificate. And then they come one, two, three bags. Now, you have to know something about me. I'm vegetarian and I'm against animal cruelty, so I will never buy anything made of leather. And these are fake leather, so no worries about that. So what comes in the big one is like the two parts. This is like the front, this is the back. The ears, it seems to be there are the ears. Two ears and the needles. I think these are the eyes and two, how you call this, pieces of string and a button. I don't know what's this button for, but we will find out. This is to the superior part, like the zip, to open and close the purse. Actually, it's bigger than I thought. It's quite nice. Where are the instructions? No instructions. There's something here. Okay. Cool. Like a chain to hang it. It's going to be like a small purse. Okay. I'm liking it. I thought it was going to be like just like a coin, coin purse. And the next one is glue. A band-aid? Why they gave me band-aids? I'm scared. Kind of a tool. I have no idea what is this. Oh! Oh, scissors. Okay. They give everything. Like, if you don't have scissors in your house, you can have this one. Okay, these are like a smaller stuff. This is like bigger needles. I think it's for helping you to make the holes. Okay. This is weird. <laughs> they give me these clips. I don't know why to put things together, I guess. But they also gave me these little condoms <laughs> I don't know I think they're to protect your fingers but they're kind of weird what's going on <laughs> what's going on with this bear is creepy so let's just begin let's build this bear the instructions were sent to me on a message I had to scan a QR code with my WeChat and then I received a video it explained in detail all the steps and showed me this two needles technique that I have never seen before, so I decided to try it. 
so first of course you have to sew the eyes the nose to the face and I'm just doing that using this double needle technique it's nothing more than to just put two needles on each side of the thread and then you try to measure the middle part for your first stitch and then you use either of the size to make the first stitch down and then using the other side up and then you change the needle that was up goes down and the needle that was down goes up is the kind of the look that you will be having with a sewing machine and when you finish it up it recommends you to glue it but I not only did that, I also made a small knot and then tried to glue it as, as they show it in the instructions but actually I found out it was not a problem to just put a drop of the glue directly to the thread so I just did that every time I need to close up all that is left is the border so you actually had to close it up first and then going around the edges it had bigger holes so you can use them as a mark to know where to begin to attach the border and the ears so everything was well thought out to make it as easier as possible Originally, I thought it would take me one or two hours but you really have to pay attention to what you are doing and making sure that everything is well secured. So that takes time and in reality it took me about five hours in total to finish it. Shocking, right? It looked small and simple. Sometimes I get impatient and want to get the results fast and of course it took me longer than if I just had used a straight stitch or even a back stitch but when I tried the back stitch on the border it didn't go so well so I just continued with the double needle I liked that it had the holes already so I didn't need to hurt my fingers trying to push the needle through the fabric but it was definitely tiring since you had to make sure the string was tense enough every step so it wouldn't open later. Overall it was a fun project and I would like to make another one but I don't want to try this round shape anymore. It was quite difficult to finish it and maybe next time I will make a full size bag. I saw a Sailor Moon theme one so we will see. It's actually bigger than I thought. I might not be able to put my cell phone inside but maybe my lipstick, uh, some hand cream, my keys when you don't need to take many things with you and you're just like on the go this little bag can be really useful my dear curious creative people this is all for today I hope you liked it if you'd like to see more about these projects, challenges and quests I will suggest you to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring on the notification so you always know when I upload a new video. See you next time and don't be afraid to try new things. Bye bye!